Uh, my name is Chris Barnes. I'm the engineering and energy manager here at Excel. Engineering wise, I look after the whole building in terms of its electrical infrastructure, air conditioning, etc. The building itself has been here 10 years. Um, it originally started about being two thirds the size of what it is now. Uh, we've just recently had an ex extension put on the, uh, on the eastern end of the building, which now uh, gives us 100,000 square metres. But for the American market, it's termed as 1 million square feet. Uh, we actually host eight of the country's top 10 uh, events, big blockbuster shows. Uh, most of the reductions have been in the way we actually operate in terms of BMS, making sure the BMS is working to its total efficiency uh, and changing the way the venue thinks and how uh, events, when they come in, how they operate themselves. There's uh, a, number of, a number of companies have been looking at the way we do things, um, not, not least our, our opposition you know, in the event industry. They are, they, they are fully aware of the, of the cuts we've made and reductions we've made. Um, we're getting recognition throughout the industry. You know, we've, we've won energy awards in the in, in the uh, exhibition industry. We've won um, the the Sunday Times Best Green Company Award, and we've just recently won a Diamond Award in the Mayor of London's Green 500. I'm, the first time I saw it was on, on the ground, in a workshop, right? And we took it from the workshop, and then we took it up into the halls, and and it's not easy to actually run one from above. So we actually laid it on the floor and looked at the light on the ceiling. And we just could not believe how much light it, it gave in the halls. We then got eight fittings and did a, a trial area down by S7. Um, and the response was just you know, phenomenal from everybody in the building. Everybody was just amazed. The comments we're getting about the new lighting in the boulevard is, are, are considerable. The, the, with the increase in lighting, um, I mean, double double the output of light for <laughs> less than less well, one, about 70% saving in energy. The, the manning height of the fittings is 10 metres. Uh, originally, the fittings were set just above the, the um, egg, egg crate ceiling, uh, which gave us approximately 100 lux at floor level. The new fittings, although they've been fitted just slightly underneath the, um, the egg crate, now give us 220. So he's given us a major improvement in lighting. Uh, the type of lighting, the, it's made the, made the venue and the building look bigger. It's made it look cleaner. So many, you know, there's it's, it's so, so many wins and very few negatives. One of the biggest problems we had with sodium fittings was the fact that uh, within, with different ages of light fittings, you've got different colour renders. When phase two opened, with, the, with phase two has got quite a lot of light harvesting with ETFE roofing. Now we couldn't actually start cutting holes in the roof down this end to produce ETFE, you know, natural light harvest. So we had to try and find lighting that was going to sort of match that outside um, viewpoint. Aesthetically, it's, it, it does the, it hits, it ticks all the boxes. In, you know, in terms of that boulevard, it's a public area. If in the event of a power cut, you know, the old sodiums would take anywhere between two and three minutes to come back on. This is instant. You know, in terms of life safety, it's, it's, it, it, it's, that's another tick in the box. Carbon reduction is very important to us all in England. Um, our government's made uh, promises to the world what they're going to achieve. And w w without us doing it, they're never going to achieve it. Um, we're very, actually quite proud of our, uh, our carbon reduction here in the last two years, uh, which you know, is, is freely available for everyone to see. Go on Wikipedia, it tells you everything. Carbon reduction was just an added bonus from it, really. That's but the, and carbon reduction isn't just about energy; it's about the waste recycling as well. And we have quite a high waste recycling uh, process going on here, including probably one of the largest wormeries in the in the world. My future plans that I was, is that I'd like to actually do the halls. Um, now, the challenge that's quite a challenge in, in so many respects because I'm I'm looking at. Uh, there's, there's 23 halls on each side of the building. Um, of, in, each, in each hall, I've got 45 sodium fittings. So, you know, we're, we're looking in the region of about 1,500 light fittings. I think these lights sell themselves. You know, it's, the, it's a, once you compare like for like, they're just, it's, it's a no-brainer. 
It's an absolute no-brainer. <laughs>